Meet the DCX, Delta Clipper Experimental, a rocket for the people, a revolutionary approach to lowering launch costs, which takes us back to the future of spaceflight, an entirely new philosophy in the development of launch technology. The Delta Clipper team has taken the common sense, tried and true approach of commercial aviation and applied it for the first time to rockets. In early rocket designs, the mass of the equipment and propellant needed to fly long distances was found to be too high. Since the cost of the vehicle was less important than delivering its payload on what was usually a one-way trip, it was decided to throw away those parts of the rocket no longer being used in the flight, progressively making it lighter as it flew towards its target. This is the type of traditional multi-stage vehicle we currently use. Imagine what an airline ticket would cost if each trip started out with an entire plane and ended with only the passenger cabin and then was rebuilt for the return flight only to be mostly thrown away again. The cost would forever keep flying beyond the grasp of all but a few. That's the situation we face today. We know from experience that we should maintain a mixed fleet of launch capability. But if the goal of our space program is a dramatic reduction in the cost of launching payloads, then it's also time for the next step. A reusable rocket system that operates as routinely as today's military and commercial aircraft. This is why the DCX single stage rocket is so important. In 1990, the Defense Department selected four of the nation's leading aerospace contractors to conduct a phase one feasibility study of the single stage to orbit concept based on available computer, propulsion and materials technologies. The study's mandate was to answer three main questions. Can it be done? Can it be done quickly? And can it be done cheaply? After careful studies by the best minds at each firm, all four agreed. The answer to all three questions was yes. Single stage to orbit will work. Taking a page from aircraft development programs, phase two of the project was to rapidly prototype X vehicles of increasing size and performance. This aircraft style of development in which a series of test vehicles are repeatedly flown to incrementally push the envelope of a concept had never been applied to rockets. First, a one-third scale vehicle called DCX would be built to prove the concept and to conduct low-speed flight and maneuvering tests. Next, if funding is made available, will come a vehicle twice the size of the DCX, which will obtain speeds well into the hypersonic range. This vehicle will support commercial and military testing and be our next step on the way to the single stage to orbit fleet, which will be the heart of our 21st century launch industry. In 1991, McDonnell Douglas's Delta Clipper vertical takeoff and landing design was selected for phase two, designated the Single Stage Rocket Technology Program, SSRT, to demonstrate technology availability of reusable rocket systems. A suborbital demonstrator was ordered and an industry team made up of some of the world's top aerospace companies was formed to take on the challenge. These companies, representing some of the best capabilities in the field, contributed vital elements of the program. They too believe that single-stage rocket technology has arrived. In August 1991, at McDonnell Douglas's facility in Huntington Beach, California, the new team was assembled. In keeping with the project's revolutionary nature, a new rapid prototyping environment was created. This X designation and the streamlined project structure provided the right environment for success. Since one of the goals of the project was to incorporate aircraft-like systems wherever possible, top engineers and designers from the successful MD-11 airliner, 
the F-15, the F-18, and the AV-8B Harrier projects were brought in to work together with our rocket engineering staff. Overcoming dozens of technical hurdles, borrowing technology from a wide variety of space, aircraft, and other fields, and creating many new and innovative solutions to the single-stage challenge, the DCX team drove forward to realize their vision, and by early 1993, the vehicle was completed. While the vehicle was being built, a mini spaceport was constructed in White Sands, New Mexico. The spaceport contains everything needed for the DCX flight testing, including maintenance and service technicians required to turn the vehicle around after each flight, the entire DCX flight support team numbers about 35 people. In this small operations van, which is very similar to that plan for the full-size Delta Clipper, only three people will be required to launch and fly the vehicle using Macintosh or Windows-like computer interfaces. For its first flight, the DCX will take off and hover just above the ground as its systems are verified. Then, it will perform a soft touchdown on its landing gear. Next, it will be flown to higher altitudes and faster speeds in both still and windy conditions where it will demonstrate its aerodynamic performance. Then it will be flown to several thousand feet where it will be ordered to pitch over into its landing approach flight path. Next, it will demonstrate its critical rotation maneuver. Finally, using its onboard vehicle management system with its global positioning receiver, the DCX will perform a precision soft landing within 20 feet of its designated touchdown site. In a world ever more conscious of the environment, McDonnell Douglas is proud of the fact that the hydrogen and oxygen propellants used in our DCX will make the Delta Clipper the world's environmentally cleanest spaceship as its exhaust will be nothing more than water vapor. The Delta Clipper single-stage rocket concept is indeed the door to space for America. Single-stage rocket research bodes a revolution in spaceflight, which will not only give our defenders the technology for global reach, but will pave the way for a whole new generation of scientists, students, and commercial researchers to enjoy unprecedented opportunities for research and exploration. The DCX is as common sense an idea as America itself. This year, the McDonnell Douglas Delta Clipper team will change the world. Single stage rockets have arrived. DCX, the future is now.